God. Never ready. No idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Yeah, it's it's bad, but it's good. And we're it's live. It's depressing twice. <laughs> it's depressing twice. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Right now, there's just the four of us because Tyler is working or some shit. Who the fuck knows? Uh, and then um, Joe. Uh, Joe's either dead or in Canada, and I forget which one it is. Maybe both. He could be. I mean, that's, those aren't mutually exclusive states of existence, so... Could be either or. Hey, Bert, thanks for swinging by. Um... <laughs> difference. Yeah, I don't know. This is what we got for tonight. Tyler might show up, and when Tyler does, we'll berate him for being late. Uh, and then we'll keep playing. Uh, so before let, we get into it, let's do some quick introductions so everyone can remember who the fuck you're playing. Order of the overlay. Alex, you're up first. Right. I'm playing Grim. Sorry, I'm pulling my character sheet right now. The SMG toting gun, silver gun toting, meanest detective in training you've ever seen. And you're all peons to me, not worth my time. And time is everything, like me. Next person. Damn. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm said our Decker, who's not so interested in violence at all. <laughs> um, we seem to be diving right into it, so. Yeah. Yay. Gonna be great. Usually so. <clears throat> Back when I wore a tin star, I caught a lot of small fish swallowed up by the craw of organized crime. When I'd ask some unfortunate bellhop or desk jockey how they got involved with gangsters, they'd always say the same thing. It started by doing them a favor. When I was asked recently to pull security for a triad trade-off, I damn sure didn't do anyone any favors. In fact, a few of my friends did the triad a whole lot worse, which means they won't bother with swallowing me whole. Instead, they'll want to chew me up and spit me out. But if my recently abandoned roach infested office means something, it's that there are countless voiceless critters who know that chewing me up is still easier said than done. I'm Harl Thought Gordrum, unemployed private eye and former Lone Star Seattle police detective, which means nobody's dangling a paycheck over my head to stop me taking a bite out of crime. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Uh, yeah, it's always just fantastic oh man what do we got what happened last session can you three of you remind me what we did uh fuck the triad hey. uh, that's about it fight the power <laughs> fight the power yeah that's right you were uh scouting out a job for a fixer by the name of boris or a data uh you know a data fence by the name of boris he wasn't taking on new customers, and so he said, fine, I'll move your data for you and put you on my customer list so you can come back to me when you need to, but you gotta do a job for me. And that job was provide personal security for a data handoff he had with the triad in three days. Uh, you all heard, of course, the triads involved, so it had some pause, wanted to do some, some digging, see if it's worth it or not. So you go and you found out the location of the drop, you go start investigating it, found out that despite it looking like an abandoned derelict um you know warehouse it was wired up it had full security suite everywhere it had a couple of uh you know gunner hidey holes that they could stash in it had some kind of something going on in the basement you never sorted it out because the these mis you know ominous black SUV and black sedan showed up, started scouting you out. Uh, you all decided to hightail it, ran away, 
car chase ensued and uh it turned into a rather eventful situation where grim executed a triad member in the middle of the intersection on a busy seattle street just in time for the evening news just in time for the evening news yeah so you did take one triad member hostage so you were able to get some information mainly who he works for and where you can find them uh, he works for a guy by the name of San, uh, Sammy Scrip, who runs a pretty fancy little restaurant by the name of the Purple Haze. Uh, but as you were all planning on what to do about that, Grim got a text message uh, from his, in quotes, good friend, Miss Sourpiss. Miss Sourpiss had a job. Take care of this job for me, and I'll let some of the past, you know issues that you've kicked my way i'll let them go the job was to break into the seattle municipal building and steal a an encrypted data file supposedly containing containing uh some schematics for a new comm system that the seattle law enforcement were looking at using and miss sourpiss wanted to take a look at it for her own reasons and she wanted you to go steal those plans which means breaking into a government building and hacking into their system which we kind of wanted to do anyways to get rid of some footage yeah because the on the streets seattle municipal building is where all of those traffic camera feeds do tie into um, one thing I was thinking about, and I'm sure that your characters might have this thought as well, so I'll just put it out there. Um, what breaking into the Seattle Municipal Building and wiping out that traffic cam footage. Okay, sure. What are you going to do about the fact that they blanketed that footage over all the news broadcasts that night? I mean, we could only start at one place, at least, if we can delete the source. Um, I was just thinking, you know, like, well, you know, that bell might already be rung. Yeah. But it's up to you to decide. If you want to go for it, come up with some good plans. We'll certainly go for it. So, um, that's our recap. So let's get into this shit. What do you all want to do? I mean, Last we left, Grim was just about to head out of our little hidey hole to go take the job immediately. So uh, I think I'm going to stand in front of him and be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> last time we uh, didn't plan something out, it didn't pan out so well for any of us. Yeah. Uh, so Who how about that? we uh, <clears throat> didn't pan out so well for somebody who we might have worked for. I'll put it that way. So... How about we uh, sleep on it? We come up with a foolproof plan that nothing could possibly go wrong. And then we'll jump on it first thing in the morning. Ooh. Or so, like, do, do we want to do something with our hostage here? Like maybe send them back or something? I thought you guys had already Did taken care of that. Did we already oh, do that? Okay. There was strong, I thought you guys, because there was really strong talk about just driving him by a hospital and throwing him out. Okay, that, that's right. I and I thought that, that uh, Tyler did Bugsy that. did that because you guys yeah. didn't want to leave with We can say that's what uh, Bugsy car. and Rianu are doing right now. Yeah, they're getting rid of the hostage. <laughs> All right, so yeah. continue on. What's the plan? So what So what do you think? We just sleep on it, come up with our foolproof plan, and get at it first thing in the morning. I mean, I think we'll definitely need to spend some time scoping it out. Like, you know, just watching, gathering information, seeing who goes where and where from. But we could go in guns a blazing and get the job done tonight. And be on more cameras. As far as my eyes go open right now. 
<laughs> this hurts really bad. <laughs> uh, we could very much go in guns a blazing, but we might need more ammo for that. Yeah, be, Ooh, uh, yeah. I don't know how much. You'll be yeah. guns blazing down your yourselves then, because these guns don't go blazing. Yeah, yeah we're not SMG. really counting ammo on anything, so don't worry about it. <laughs> this SMG needs to be clean. You, you, that is true. That is true. Some idiot's bloods on it. I, pre- I forget little things like that. That's fine, I'm sure. All right, so what's the plan? My plan right now is to just sell down Vin the Grim until he's no longer insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, once again, uh, this effect you're under there, Grim, uh, will wear off after a night's sleep, so... I, I think they have talked him into waiting till morning to go against them blazing, so I think he would... Sleep. Okay. All right. So we'll just, you know... <laughs> next morning, you're all still in this abandoned uh, office building. Both vehicles are inside. Uh, we'll just task Bugsy and Rianu on something else that they're following up on. So it's just the three of you to sort this job out for Miss Sourpiss. Uh, so I'll let you all take it from here. Now, because of that, that also means that Bugsy's car it's is available. not available. Yeah. You can either take Grimm's two-seater car, uh, which... There's a crap load of them on the road, uh, but it does have the plates of a triad vehicle that had a member executed in it by someone who got out of one of these cars. You can take that, or you can, you know, come up with your own mode of transportation or a separate mode. Maybe we need to find some some new plates. But that still leaves a person who's not uh, not able to ride very comfortably. Yeah, it's only a two-seater. Uh, I'll tell you what, if someone were to give me a... Uh, God, I would probably call it a move test. I'll say you can contort yourself enough that you can fit into the uh, the trunk space. You know what? That's perfectly fine. Um, I am going to uh, utilize my talent, uh, Path of the Phase. How do I do my new talent that I purchased after last session? I'm going to spend a willpower point and take on the appearance of a different person. Nice. So on that. And then I will order a cab. (laughs) (laughs) okay cool uh yeah all right not a problem there har uh harl talked you hail a cab you hop in it's a it's a fairly large uh vehicle it's being driven by a uh kind of grungy looking troll oh where are you guys going uh well buddy and <clears throat> well buddy we're uh, headed up to uh the seattle municipal building to take a tour of the place all right i'll get you there 20 creds or uh, 20 new yen all right here you go and i'll go ahead and pay the fella from my Okay. A uh, stash of some, what was it, 2,000 new yen that yeah. I have? Uh, yeah, he gets you there, no problem. You're now outside of this busy office tower. You can see the uh, the picture of it there on the screen, this giant office tower, the Seattle Municipal Tower, um, in the middle of downtown Seattle. It's busy. It is during office hours right now, so there's people coming and going all over the place. Um, immediately you see that there are there is a security desk right at the entrance like you get into the through the first set of doors and there's a full like security check there before you can go in further they got uh, those what like the back scanner x-rays that like they have at airports now along with a couple guards with uh, wands that they're waving over people 
What do y'all want to do? Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in there right now. Yeah, I'm uh, feeling a pretty uh, not okay with that myself. Um, still, though, I suppose we could uh, try to walk around the building, take a good look at its exterior. Now, find a nice entry point. You move around. Uh, there is a public entrance on three of the faces of the building and you can see each one of these public entrances have the same kind of security seat uh you know set up okay. as you move around the back side of the building it's got this uh big 10 foot tall chain link fence with razor wire going around the top of it uh and it surrounds the kind of like the employee parking lot uh, there is one of those, um, you know, little guard shacks, you know, for a parking attendant uh, to wave people in and out, let them go through. Um, you can see inside there's a loading dock. Uh, and there's also the little employee entrance off to the side, just a single door. Uh, it's got a canopy over it with some outdoor seating for employees on their breaks. Um, but those are the initially the three faces. Now, also looking around on the corner of every building. So as you're looking at each face of the building on the left corner of every face is a plain steel door with no kind of handles or anything on the uh, outside. So kind of like think like a fire exits for like the emergency stairways. It's where that mm -hmm. probably exits out to. So it's probably got just like a crash bar on the inside. Uh, so you see three of those as well. Uh, you can see a fourth mm -hmm. on the back of the building, but that's kind of like in the employee parking area. And those uh, the fire exits, are they in like the secure area or are they kind of- They're off to, to the public? side. They're, they're, they're exposed. exposed to the public. You can easily walk up to one. Uh, it's just there's no way for no you way to open, open it, it from this side. Because, um, like I said, that's just a flat chunk of metal set in there. The steel hinges are on the outside because it pushes or opens out. So that way, you know, if people are fleeing the building, they just hit that crash bar on the other side and push the door open. Uh, but, yeah, there's no... No way to open it from outside. Sure, but you know, might be a way to do something about that if we want to be creative. Well, well perhaps when it comes time to infiltrate this place, one of us can just uh, walk through the detector, say, okay, no weapons or nothing. But um, once inside, we'd have to find a way to start a big fire. Now, normally I'm not one for a uh, committing arson of any sort, let alone against municipal buildings. But um, well, considering we do have a fire, I mean, we could always just pull an alarm or something like that. And, you know, uh, yes. absolutely. People get and once uh, people start coming out through the exits uh, that one of us will wait by the door and allow the others to come in. But then we'd have limited time, and of course we'd have to deal with internal security as well, True. of which we know nothing. Not yet. But it could be a situation where, like, you know, maybe we chill out inside, you know, for a while. <laughs> uh, got chameleon suits? I think you've got one. True. I mean, I have one, but I sure so don't. Uh, I actually do have one. Oh, so, so two out of three. Yeah. I have a car. A car that you're <laughs> not using right now. <laughs> yeah, I suspect I'll be trying to cram into the trunk. Okay. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, once you all decide what you want to do, just let me know. So the plan right now is to start fire. Uh... Well, not a six star fire, but do do the alarm or something like that. And mm -hmm. so we need one person to go in and advance. Then, yeah, 
But, you know, the other two of us with our chameleons could maybe wait outside with the rest of our equipment. So maybe you go in with nothing. Uh. <laughs> okay. Hold, hold the alarm and then we sneak the rest of the gear in unseen. I could do that. Does that sound like something you want to do, Grim? This isn't like something I want to do, but I can do that. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so Grim, you offload any equipment that might be questionable. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to do this like today. We can still find out, you know, their business hours and things like that. Or maybe we just look online and find that. Maybe. Yeah, let's see it, if they yeah. have any sorts of uh, tours of the municipal building, like maybe art exhibits, anything of that sort inside. Yeah. yeah. Give us a nice, uh, legitimate excuse to case the place. To be inside. in there. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so a Harl talk. Yeah, you just pull up your pan, you do a quick search. Um, they do do tours of the lower levels, um, mainly because the, the lower levels are like what you're planning. It's kind of the big kind of where they got the art exhibits up. Think like your regular, like, you know, just downtown city office building. Uh, they don't do tours of the upper levels because that's where the actual employee offices are. So um, public is allowed. <laughs> yeah, courtrooms. I mean, public is allowed to go up to some of those because there's public access. There's need for people to get to different departments. Like you mentioned, courtrooms. Um, but yeah, they do offer tours. Uh, they do a tour every morning, 10 a.m. Uh, it's scheduled to run about 45 minutes. Um, and there's no fee. Ooh. That's lovely. I mean, maybe one of us just needs to go on the tour to get the lay of the building first. Quick question. Yeah. Experience is essentially karma, right? Yeah. What uh, are you looking at? I was going to buy a spell. But uh, so use the, yeah experiences karma so if you want to upgrade one of your talents that'll unlock spells so let me look at the stream age so what uh you've currently bought rank one in illusion or detection mm -hmm. uh detection so if you want to buy rank one of illusion it would cost you five xp and that would give you access to all of the rank one illusion spells that might happen uh, the only catch is, of course, you have to burn willpower to cast a spell. This might be uh, taking the tour might be good for Harlothlock to do since you can disguise yourself. Indeed. He's also not wanted. Oh, yeah. Not, by, not by the government. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's early enough in the morning. You haven't oh. missed the tour yet. Yeah, that's right. Alex probably can't can't go in. <laughs> to the <Yeah>. building. <laughs> I forgot about that the whole wanted thing. Now these um uh metal detectors or back scanners uh do they reach to the ceiling by any chance? Uh no. So the way when you enter into the lobby area, uh it's this kind of like imagine like this plexiglass glassed off thing. The plexiglass does extend clear to the ceiling except for over these like essentially these x-ray machines they have people walk through those are about 10 feet tall and it's kind of high ceilings in here so you've got another five or six feet above that so the only up and over access would be directly over these machines uh, they've got two machines for people entering and one machine for people exiting so even exiting the building, you go through another security scan. All right. And that's the oh. that holds true on each of the three public interests uh, entrances. What kinds of drones have we got in our arsenal? A couple, just that uh, the small ones that have some cameras and microphones on them. Do they fly? Yeah. All right, I'll go in, and uh, as I do, drone can come in, 
over the machine and uh, we'll scout it out together. Yeah, I could send in one of my, uh, hang on, let me double check which ones I got here. One of them is still sitting at your office, I think. Yeah, one of them you left as a security cam for, for uh, Haraltok's office. Yeah, I left. Okay, I know which one I left there. It was one of the so, I spy, fly spies. Fly spies. Yeah. yeah, I have two of them, thankfully. One okay. of them has basically long range sensors on it, and the other one has short range sensors on it. So I can send the long range one is watching the office from like across the street. Okay. So, so the short, short range I can send with them, maybe. So yeah, Harl Thok, if you want to go in, you can easily just go in make it through security head to the uh reception desk and they'll get you on the list for the tour uh and uh i keep wanting to call you steely dan but that's not correct <laughs> said uh you can send one of your your drones in now these things are they're insect size they're tiny yeah. uh and i won't make you roll any kind of piloting test until you start trying to do something a little sketchy so Haraltok, you head yeah. on in. I figure for the most part, it's probably going to be, you know, tucked away somewhere on him once he's through security. Okay. Yeah. Haraltok. Uh, has a camera, an omnidirectional microphone, and a cyberware scanner. Oh, okay. Uh, Haraltok, are you bringing any equipment in with you? No. Okay. I'll be wearing normal clothes. Then I'll take the drone with me. I'll leave my pistol with uh, with Seth. Okay. Uh, hey, Eddie and Jeff, thanks for coming by. Uh, yeah, so you offload anything that might be questionable. You head on through the security desk. I mean, there's a short line to get through security. They have you stand there. They do their scans. When you get through, they're just like, where are you heading? Well, I was uh, hoping to take a tour of the art exhibits and the like. Uh, I heard it's a good place to get some culture going on. I mean, I guess if you're bored, sure, man, yeah, just head on over to reception. Next one starts at 10. 10? Oh, uh, what time is it now? Uh, you got about 10 minutes. Oh, crap. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll head over to reception. Thanks. Okay. All right, talk. You're in the building. The drone up and over the machine. Lands on Harlthok, kind of tucks in underneath, like, uh, you know, the collar on his coat. And I will make my way to reception to sign myself up for the tour. Yeah, head on over to reception. Uh, looks like, uh, you know, there's uh, this, probably you're guessing a retiree working back there, just something to do to fill their time between their shows, uh, between their stories. Uh, incorrect term my bad uh oh, here for the tour that's right i am i'm uh looking to see some fancy building structures uh some decent art maybe oh yeah that's fantastic it's it's a busy tour for this morning but well, we got spots still here so go ahead Sign on in. He slips you over a data pad with the kind of tour registration list. Uh, you can see that there are three other people signed up for the 10 o'clock tour. And you can kind of see other people loitering around the, the lobby. You're guessing that's them. Sign in. All I'll go ahead and I'll, yeah, I'll put down a fake name. Uh, Grim Thorl. Uh, Grim Thorl. Uh, Horus. Okay. Um, yeah, you scroll down your fake name, sign it back. Okay, we'll be starting in about eight minutes. Just meet here and the tour guide will be ready for you. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. Give it just a second. My output rate dipped. Let's let it come back up. Still kind of wonky. We'll keep going. Uh, yeah, so... Um, you on there, I'll chat up the others. Like, oh, how about this weather we're having? And oh, yeah, just basic small this? talk. 
Yeah, how about the Seahawks this year? Jeez. Huh? Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, you... Um, a couple of people there are like, oh, we're just waiting for someone taking care of business upstairs or this or that. You do find these three other people who are waiting for the tour. And it's actually a... Uh, it's a nanny with uh, two, you know, tween-aged kids. You're looking at like 11 or 12, boy and a girl. Uh, look fairly well off, considering the fact that it looks like it's a nanny who's taking them on this tour. And she's like, ah, oh, yeah, the, you know, their mother wants them to have, you know, culture, educational outings, but uh, doesn't really provide the the money to uh you know pay for anything uh and she expects me to just do it out of my pocket so um this is like the eighth time we've taken this tour it's very boring oh, i mean it's my first time here so i guess uh you know i'll see if uh i'm properly bored as well and uh i guess we can just go from there huh oh, sounds good you you trust me you will be Oh, boy. Okay. Handful of minutes slide by, and the tour guide looks like a young intern, uh, you know, dressed up in your standard young intern, black tennis shoes, black slacks, white short sleeve button-up shirt with a black tie. Um, excuse me. Um... Uh, if you're here for the 10 o'clock tour, well, we're getting started now. And I'll sort of walk up with feigned interest, looking around like, oh. uh, uh, over here. Oh, wow, there's four of us today. That's uh, but more than what I'm used to. I'm trying my best to do my teenage cracking voice, so just bear with me. <laughs> Yeah, it takes you on the tour. It is thoroughly unimpressive. The art that's here in the building is incredibly old, incredibly really not well maintained. Uh, dust on all of the bus, uh, bus that are out. Um, but yeah, it kind of takes you through, kind of slow, shows you different things, gives you a little like spiel about every piece takes you up to the second floor a lot of the same takes you to the the main elevators on the second floor and if you take the elevators up you'll get all of the the core business functions of city of seattle uh municipal courts are on the third floor uh licensing and other shits on the i don't know he gives you the full <laughs> rundown uh, he's like, and above the, above the sixth floor, all of the, you know, uh, office for all of our diligent city workers. Uh, so is that where you like, uh, come up with all the like fines and stuff for traffic and like, uh, Oh yeah. Uh, that's on, um, uh, that's on the, uh, the ninth floor. Oh, so yeah, that's... traffic control operates out of there. Oh, neat. So, like, do they like also handle like, I don't know, like who designs like, like lights and stuff? Like, who, oh. who's responsible for like city engineering? Uh, that's on the thirteenth floor. Oh wow, that's unlucky, huh? <laughs> and I'll yeah. nudge the nanny. Uh, no, Captain, I'm doing my best. You impression. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm joking. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm pretending to be a teenage intern at a city building. Anyway, yeah, he, 13th floor. Yeah, it's very unlucky. Fun fact, a lot of buildings in the city don't have a 13th floor because it's considered unlucky. But here at the city municipal building, we forgot about that. We forgot about that. Somehow sounds right. 
I'll just, uh, I'll lean down to one of the kids. I think that last part's made up. Now, if you'll follow me, I'll take you back to the lobby. Uh, we do have a small cafe. So if you want to get some snacks or something to drink, you can. Yeah, I'll, I can use a soy calf and some cupcakes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah everybody. Cupcakes. All right. The kids are like, yeah, cupcakes. And the nanny's like, no, they're not allowed to have sugar. Extra cupcakes on me. All right, let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you all head, head back down. Uh, he shows you where the cafe is. Uh, be sure to come back. We do this tour every weekday at 10 a.m. And I'll buy the youngsters like 40 new yen worth of snacks. Okay, sure. Yeah, you load them up with sweets and some uh, some juice and little bottles, little cardboard bottle things, because it's the future and plastics are probably still very heavily in use. So yeah, you just get them some plastic bottles of juice. In uh, fact, more plastic is used. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee that. Everything's plastic now. <laughs> All great. All right, I'll meet back up with everybody. I'll pass the drone back. And, uh, okay. I'll give out the info. Uh, so they say that uh, floor is higher up, uh, seventh floor and up. That's where your offices are. Ninth floor is where traffic control is handled, and engineering is on the thirteenth floor. I probably need to figure out where their data center is at, but maybe we can work that up for the rest of it. Probably in the basements. Where I keep my data in the basement. Well, yeah. cool. Fresh. What's next? Say, uh, <laughs> an airplane hits it, then they're out of data. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'll point out, Harl Thox, since you guys kind of talked about it, you did make notes, mental note of where the fire exits were. Uh, and does is there one that has like um, a smaller amount of foot traffic going beside it? Sure. Yeah. You can see that there's okay. one back by. Uh, by the restrooms uh one set of the restrooms on the third floor uh, it's kind of in the back of a little like viewing gallery era area uh, for you know prominent figures of seattle uh so it doesn't get a lot of a lot of people moving through there but uh tucked back behind the corner are the restrooms along with the fire exit uh, now i will note out that or note that you did see that on these fire exits it does say that this door is alarmed. Alarmed. Yeah, uh, someone spooked the door. But no, if you open the Indeed. door, it'll set off an alarm. Boy, I got a good idea already here. Okay. It said That lady said she takes those kids on this tour a lot, right? That's exactly right. Uh, you know, what if while on the tour, you know, you need to take a restroom break and you just happen to bribe one of the kids to pulling a fire alarm? For fun. You know what, they'd, they'd go for it. Those kids go do this tour pretty often, actually. Um, I would imagine they'd do anything to alleviate the boredom. Plus they and can then, also learn uh, a valuable you know, lesson about how law enforcement works. So. What's gonna happen? <laughs> they pull the fire alarm and you know, while people come out, we go in. And there's not a lot of visitors to dedicate maybe to we the have, uh, historical uh, figures section of the building, I can tell you that. Maybe we have Graham hold on to your chameleon suit, you know, to get into the building with. And... Yeah. Yeah. Once we, I think once we get in there, we'd have to get active pretty quickly because authorities will be involved. Mm -hmm. I just need to know what the plan is. Once you all have it sorted out. Yeah. Maybe there would be a way for one of us to actually access some of the higher levels so that we know how to get in and out as quickly as possible. Once the actual... I mean, once we have access begins. to a terminal, we can probably, you know, hit a 
get a desktop or something like that, look up some floor plans. And that could either be handled by engineering or the offices. But both of those will probably have some sort of security going on with them in the Keep uh, randos out. You know, chameleon suit helps with that. <clears throat> yeah. Indeed. Uh, okay. So yeah, what we'll do now is, um, I think we can just uh, loiter and uh, check out the building for people dressed up in like suits who leave at, towards the evening that we hadn't seen go in in the afternoon. Okay, so waiting for, now you do know that the employee parking area is in the back. Mm -hmm. So if you're wanting to filter out who you're watching to, people who very specifically work in the building, that would be your best angle. Yeah. We could always uh, put a drone on that and not actually, you know. That's true. Maybe wait a couple of days until we get a particular person's um, schedule done. Or, uh, and then uh, one of us will sneak in with him, ride the elevator while invisible with the office worker, then get off on the office floor and find a way to access one of the terminals while inside. Oh, just keep in mind that uh... Following someone in doesn't get us through security. Just chameleon suit won't oh, do that yes. for us. That is true. That and is you true. don't know if there's any security for employees entering because you didn't. They of course didn't show any of that. That's kind of you know oh, backstage kind of operations. I suppose we could always try and uh, you know sneak a drone in with an employee and scout from inside that entrance and see what they go through once they're inside. That would require some deft maneuvering to make sure it doesn't get caught. Yeah. I would take a piloting test for that. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what we call piloting in this. Uh, it's uh, first one on agility. Stealth? Stealth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got a chance. Okay, so what's what's the plan? Do we want to try and scout out the employee entrance first? Yeah, I think that's the best bet. Okay, are you doing that today? Or are you just setting up all day, watching people as they come and go? Well, at this time of day, it's mostly going to be going. Uh, you could hopefully catch a handful of people coming and going for their lunch breaks. Yeah, it might be nice to catch someone. Maybe if we can figure out, like, we don't want a whole lot of people, but if there's, like, a person who tends to come and go, you know, kind of at their own time. Uh, high or low? Uh, that way nobody notices the uh, the bug. Let's okay. go high. 94. So as you all kind of <laughs> loiter around the back area, maybe a little ways down, uh, you do notice that there's this, uh, you know, middle-aged dwarf dude kind of a crumpled ill-fitted business style suit um comes out for smoke breaks uh, about once every 30 minutes and he's outside for about about five minutes each time and he just comes out to that little employee outside break area has a cigarette dumps it in the nearby can then heads back inside Okay. Yeah, that might be a mark. Yeah, maybe what we can do is try and get the uh, camera kind of near that area first, so then when he's getting ready to come back in, we just kind of go right with him or something. Sure. Uh, give me observation. All right. Uh, oh, do I have my empathy back? Oh, yeah, it's the next day, so yeah. Everyone's all healed up. Uh, Dan... Yes. As yeah. my drone attempts to detonate itself. Hey, you got a success. That's good enough. Yes. You can see that this um, canopy over this outdoor break area, it's just like a cloth canopy that's set up on some metal, you know, supports attached to the side of the building. 
and it's one of those ones where it starts on a higher slope uh, directly to the building and then it comes down uh, with a curtain kind of around it. Uh, so you can very easily get your drone kind of up in there, kind of clinging to this, you know, to the, the metalwork above and then just have it drop down and try and follow him in. Uh, and that would put it, your drone pretty close to the door uh, without it having to be out visible. Nice. Yeah, the, the less distance we got to go to get to the door, the better, I figure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go ahead and if that's what you want to do, you want to next time this guy comes out on a smoke break, have your drone follow him in. Uh, go ahead and give me a piloting test. Uh, first one on agility. This will be... This will cover everything. Mm -hmm. Unless you decide you want to do something high risk. Gosh darn it, it's on the drone, of course. Are you going to push? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Holy crap, man. Well, goodbye, drone. I'm not going to destroy your drone outright. <laughs> uh, but what I will say is, you know how you walk into most like large kind of like grocery stores? They have that big fan wind curtain that goes directly over the door <laughs> that's designed to keep bugs out. Uh, uh, they've got one of those going right in front of the door. So the dude comes out, has his smoke. As he's going back in, he swipes his little ID card on the sensor next to the door, throws the door open carelessly, and you're just like, yeah, you got it. And as soon as you kind of hit that threshold of the door, that heavy wind that kind of blows down, uh, blows your drone back out. Uh, and you're just completely unable to get in on that attempt. Um, and now that you know that that wind curtain is there, at least you're prepared for it, but you do know it's going to take to get a drone snuck in this entrance. It's going to take some work. Yeah. Not today, probably. I don't know what the, uh, what the action would be for fixing gear in this case, but. Did your drone take some? It took, it took two points of damage. <laughs> Uh, it would just be a tech roll when you have, you know, an hour or two free. <clears throat> so I guess I'll try and haul the drone back for now. And... It, it limps along. Um, it's definitely in fart circles. Yeah, it, it's kind of moving in odd circular arcs, as you can tell. Maybe one of its wings isn't going right. I mean, it's. It's enough to get it back to you, but uh, that drone's probably out of commission until you can get some tech rolls on it to uh, get it back operating. Yeah, well, I can do that tonight, I guess. Okay. So, your drone plan has failed. Mm -hmm. Now what? We can always try physically sneaking in, but I feel like that's a little more dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would like to show off how large my bottle of whiskey is. Wow. I like it. Wait, uh, what variety is that? Uh, anyway, so. Um, you know, you're maybe getting into the afternoon at this point. You've already missed the lunch rush for the day of people coming and going. What do you want to do next? I'm not sure. I mean, what do we feel like? I don't think we attacked today, of course, but I don't know what other information they get since we can't get inside right now. Not in that way. Maybe there is a way. Maybe let's let's find this dwarven fellow. Yeah. And find out where he lives. And I assume being a dwarf, he's got a large beard. Of course. All right. Well, that's our end. We can sneak the drone inside of his beard. 
That might be kind of challenging. Getting Most the drone people. into the beard, easy. Getting the drone into the beard and him not noticing, a little more difficult. And then when it's time to get the drone out of the beard, that's going to be that's, tough. That's the tricky part. Yeah. I think we'd have a better time sneaking it inside his ill-fitted suit than inside of his beard. Mm. Well, we can't sneak it inside of a place it can't get out easily because it's probably going to be going through some sort of a scanner. It'd be found that way, if not outright destroyed by the radiation or however that works. Yeah, well, I mean, we'd have to get it inside the door and then probably have it leave, but we got to get it in the door first. Yeah. Hmm. The wind's not going to blow inside his suit jacket. Well, I mean, there's another tour in the morning. I suppose we could sneak it into an elevator and uh, whoever gets off on the ninth floor will have the drone follow them then. I would, I would like to point out that those elevators do go clear up and down, right? Because um, mm -hmm. there is public need in those higher levels. Like the courts mm -hmm. are there where you go to pay fines, where you go get your license renewed where you go to pay property taxes vehicle taxes shit like that um so okay. i would play so, yeah, that would be information we... your character would know is you could you know once you get past the security you've got full access to the elevator um it's just some of those floors might have additional security they might not be able to get where you want to go but elevator access you could do yeah okay so get I get inside under the uh, guise of heading to the peanut gallery for a trial. And for that, we could probably get on the Matrix in a net and figure out a trial with uh -oh. public audience. It's a Tyler. We got a Tyler. <clears throat> I'm only an oh, hour nice. late. Only an hour. Let I'm me adjust the here. overlay real quick. Be right back while you do this. Okay. Well, let's see, Tyler, you need to go up there. I need to go over there. Said. Cool. Hey, Tyler. Hi, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Let's. Um, we're gonna say that the day concludes and you all meet back up at that abandoned office building that you're crashing in. Uh, Grim and Harlthok, I will let you two update Bugsy on what the current goings on has been. Now, Bugsy, I just said that you and Rianu were off getting rid of that other triad member, dropping him off at a hospital. Sure. Uh, and Rianu had some other personal stuff come up. So he's MIA for the rest of the session. So Harlock, Grim, please update Bugsy on what the current goings on and the current plan is. Right now we've, uh, we've taken a tour of the first floor of the uh, municipal building where the a communications device is being designed, allegedly. Mm. Uh, we found some elevators, we found some fire exits, we found uh, an area where employees can come and go to participate in smoke breaks. Uh, we tried getting a drone in through the door, the smoke break door, but it's got one of those security bug wind tunnels. Oh, so damn. Knocked it out. Like at a yeah. grocery store or some shit. So, um, we managed to recover it, but it's uh, beat up pretty bad. So now we're thinking that because the municipal building's second floor has uh, courtrooms and the like, That'd we're thinking about third floor. Third floor. We're thinking about maybe uh, seeing if there are any trials available to the public for viewing and um, sneaking a drone in that way. And then from there, the drone can wait patiently on the elevator until it gets off a, a floor that uh, we feel we can work with once we hit the place. We found uh, offices are seventh floor and up. Traffic control is on the ninth floor. Engineering is on the 13th. So far, that's all we know. Okay. Okay. Uh, and so... Wait, did, we, did you say you found where traffic camera stuff was stored? That's right. Ninth floor. 
okay. we all we also kind of discussed that it may not be the most important thing like sure. Grim already made the news so yeah well, break, break. Nice. Yeah. yeah breaking into the police station is already kind of or municipal yeah. building is already kind of sketchy enough I've probably hit the matrix in a in a decent way. Yeah. Yeah. What we're really after is the R and D stuff. Right. Get our mission completed. <laughs> get some money. Buy ourselves a new fake sim. Well, this job's not actually for any money. Oh, that's right. It's to pay back what's her face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sour face. Yeah. Uh, so it's that night. You're back in the office building. Uh, said your drone still fucked up. Uh, take you a look at it. Yeah, I just need someone to do a tech roll. Every success you get, uh, get you one point of that bonus back there. Said. Yeah, I, I can. I can do it too for one. Doesn't matter. I ain't good at much, but I'm good at tech. So. We are both good at tech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tech handles the <laughs> the rigor and yeah. the Decker skills. Yeah. We're both not good at much, but really good at tech. So. And you guys can work together on this too. If you want to do that, uh, whoever's doing a work will take an assist die from the other. Maybe I'll have you help me then if that works out. Yeah, that works. Okay. okay. So yeah, said make that tech roll. First one in wits. Uh, and you get a plus one on that. Three. Yeah. You're... How many bonus did you have on that drone? Just two? Uh, yes. Just okay. two. Yeah, you you and said work for or I'm sorry, you and Bugsy work for a couple of hours and you get your drone all fixed up. It's good to go. Sweet. Nice. Uh anything anyone else wants to do in this overnight interlude? I think um during the time uh seeing as how I'm I'm gonna use my not gonna use my shotgun, but I'm gonna modify my shotgun shells. Okay. Since I'm not going to be using it for home defense, uh, I want to use my shotgun for punching a hole through a triad, just in case. Okay, so like uh, you just want to... So I'll tell you this, if you just want to say you've got slugs in it... Okay, yeah. I'm cool with that. I was going to say I'll, the stats. I'll take my... I was going to say I'll take my shells and like sort of cut through the material just a little bit so that when it fires, it comes out as basically a slug. Okay, cool. Yeah, not a problem, man. All right. Nice. Anything else, or do we fast forward to morning? I think we can fast forward to morning. All right. Yeah. Uh, Now that Bugsy is back with the crew, you don't have to get a cab. Hooray. Uh, And the. I'll still. Yeah. I'll still spend another willpower to get a disguise going. Cool. All right. Uh, The four of you head back over to the city municipal building. In this case, uh, there's... I might show up just in the uh, chameleon suit straight out of the gate. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you um, you do have options for parking. You can park on the street in their metered spots, or you can go one of the public parking garages <laughs> where they'll take your, essentially, like, register your vehicle there and charge you when you leave, depending on time spent. Where do you want to park? Um... Yeah. Right, less traceable, maybe. Meter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Meters What's you the, can yeah. slot over. You know, I mean, it, it's fairly cheap. Like ten creds for an hour, or ten new yen for an hour. I'm not looking up how much it should actually cost. An insignificant amount. We'll get you a handful of hours. There is a three-hour max. Well, we'll have to pay attention to that then. All right. Yeah, I'll bring my um. Oh, let's see here. Spying data. Com link. Ooh. I'll bring my bug scanner, my binoculars, and my directional jammer. Okay. I'm gonna just to scout out the outside of the building. I don't think I'll be bringing anything in though. Also, I'm I'm gonna probably just take my car and let you guys ride in the other car. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. I'll allow it. Don't trust me to drive. Is that what's up? I don't trust us all getting pulled over and all right, that's us fair. all not going to jail. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does increase yeah, the risk for Grim, but it does decrease the risk for the other three of you. 
<clears throat> okay. Uh, you all make it over to the city municipal. You park on the streets. You load up enough creds to give you three hours of parking. What are you doing next? Um, well, I'm just going to make sure that everything is uh, much the same as it was before. Yeah. And then when there's maybe a half hour left until the next tour, I will head in. Oh, also, um, I want I did want to check to see if there is a trial going on today. Okay. Uh, give me... I want a tech roll for this because you're finding very specific information. Uh, that's right. not always super obvious to find. Here we need to look for that for you, or? Eh. I yeah. will push it. Hey, Arnold there Zock, we go. Yeah, you, you do. Hang on a second. <clears throat> uh, I'm tasking someone with taking my dog outside because he's pacing circles around my chair. And I don't want him shitting underneath my chair again. That is a thing. Or like the time he shit on Alex's shoes. Yeah. Well, Alex was wearing them. Nice. Yeah. Tremendous. Tremendous yeah. timing. Yeah. Well, he can't wear Crocs. Uh, yeah, it would have not been good for Alex to wear yeah. Crocs that day. Yeah, that would have been horrible. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry. I got distracted by my dog. What's going on right now? I just got uh, three successes to see if there are oh, any yeah. trials. Yeah, with, there's uh, uh, three out. public trials. They actually have... Um, so they've got three different things going on today. I'm going to give you an, uh, one for each success you pull. Uh, the first one they have is... Um, I forget the specific name of court, uh, but essentially it's, it's used for... Uh, not civil, but where it's like they have all the defendants show up at a specific time, and then they call the defendants out oh, one yeah. at a time. Like, I don't like, remember the name of it. Uh, that's how traffic court does it, I know that. Yeah, they essentially, yeah, they do like a traffic court thing. The thing with traffic court it's is... Rapid fire it. What's that? Rapid fire it, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing with traffic court is... Uh, to get into the courtroom, you have to be on their list, or you have to be with someone on that list. Uh, the other thing that they have is they do have an actual case going on. Um, it's not anything serious, just some blue collar insider trading kind of thing. Um, but it does have public viewing, so you could head on up to that. Uh, and the third thing they have is a rather serious thing. It's some uh, some local banger. Finally got picked up. Is actually on for uh, multiple very intense felonies. Um, they do not like have anything? public seating for this, though, uh, simply because they're worried about someone trying to kill the defendant. Uh, and so those are your three things that you find that they've got going on around the same time that the tour is going on, or slightly before the tour would start. So that way you could go in, you know, yeah, the timing and would false be about pretenses. The same. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, now that I know what I'm after, um, I will, uh, I'll get my disguise all ready. Okay. Take off most of my. I'll. I'll um. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I should bring like a something made of metal with me, just to you know. Oh, here, yeah, here's my. Oh, set off the detector. Yeah. yeah. Now, why would you want to draw extra attention to yourself? So nobody can see the drone flying in over over the scanner. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Jingle, jingle, jingle. Oops. Okay. So are you going in alone, or is anyone else going in with Harl Thok? I think we're kind of rinsing and repeating today. I don't know what happened like yesterday, but sure. Okay. I basically went in and scouted the place from inside. Okay. During, during the, the tour. The plan is for Harl Thok to... What are you doing inside? once you're inside Harl Thok? You can get through security. We know the drill. You carry in something that's going to set off the scanner. So they, as you step in, little alarms start going, lights flash red. They pull you aside. They wand you down. 
they find the inconspicuous item and you very easily pull up like, oh crap, I forgot I had that, my bad. Can I just leave yeah. it here and pick it up or some shit? And they're fine with that. Uh, during this time, it gives... Uh, stop trying to sneak your katana past security. Right? Mm -hmm. They <laughs> let... Uh, <laughs> yeah, this gives plenty of opportunity for Sed to get his drone up and over the security scanners completely unnoticed. Cool. So, Harlthok, you yeah, you've I'll got sign up for the tour again under the same false name of uh, Grimthal Horus. Okay, Grimthal Horus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, same old man working the uh, reception desk. Like, oh, enjoyed it that much. You just had to come back. Absolutely, I found uh, I found the, uh, the 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 area that's dedicated to like you know some of the greatest names in all of Seattle history. Oh. Yes, yes, it's fantastic. Now you do see when you put your name down, you're the only one on the list for today. Well, shit. Do you still oh, have no. a Lincoln? Oh, no. Oh yeah. Because if I, because if I did, that would set it off. Or I assume so. You probably have. Fried. You can still have your pan. <laughs> they don't. They don't have anything against taking your pan in. But I mean, you would have to. It would be very obviously you were calling someone. But is that a bad thing or not? I don't know. Oh, people I would know phones. just I would know just to call you though. <clears throat> so yeah. That's on you to call us then. I mean I have <laughs> the drone with a microphone. He can just say words. We just oh. can't respond. Oh okay. how far is long range spells? <laughs> um so in, in the system it's kinda loosey goosey. Um I would say, you know, uh at least uh, you know, floating around like 100 to 150 yards. That's probably way beyond my my means then. What you got in the building? Well, once I sign up for the tour at any rate, I'm just going to go straight for the elevators and <laughs> head up to the third floor. Yeah, not a problem. The elevators, busy people coming and going. I'll uh, make you... sure that um, I get it like up against a corner or yeah. something like that and just sort of let the drone crawl off of the, yeah. the uh, you can see there's 16 buttons all together for floors you know g for the ground floor for one and then two through 16. uh you hit the button for three as you enter and of course it's with a large group of people that you're going in and the button three is already lit up uh what floor were you wanting the drone to try and get off on 13th 13th high or low um <clears throat> low was that the r d department or was that yeah okay low okay uh, shoot. as you get in you can see that 13 is not pressed initially uh so you get off head to the courtroom with the open seating i presume yep <laughs> and i will listen to a very boring <laughs> insider trading trial for you a do. while it's very dry lots of numbers and stats God, it's boring. Uh, go ahead and make me an endurance test. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. This is such bullshit. <clears throat> you pass. Okay. All right. You <laughs> nod off a couple times just very lightly, but, you know, so does everyone else watching. Um, it takes maybe like 45 minutes to an hour until finally 13th floor comes up now the thing that happens is that that rumpled suit dwarf like the elevator it's got people coming and going and it makes a stop on the 13th floor so someone hit the call button on the 13th floor and you mm -hmm. see that that dwarf in the you know the the wrinkly business suit get onto the elevator oh uh, do you try and slip out as he's entering, or are you going to wait till he comes back? Is it just him? Just him. Probably one of his smoke breaks. Probably an opportunity right now to get it while there's nobody on the elevator. Okay. Um, have you rolled me a piloting test for today? Uh, not yet, but I will. Go ahead. Go for <laughs> it. I believe... Okay, yeah. Yeah, you get it. The uh, the drone drops 
right into the right in past the elevator doors. Um, it is a series of very beige hallways, um, different plaques for the different kind of departments. Um, no immediate open area. Um, what are you looking for? I mean, I think our main interest here is where R and D is. You know, where they might be developing this comlink stuff at. Okay. So you're looking around. Give me an observation test. How'd you do? I took some points in that one success. Okay. Uh, yeah, you actually. Uh, let's see. Are we able to see what he sees? I don't know that I have a way to share it. Yeah. How tricked out is your vehicle? Uh, you're not in your vehicle. I so have the, my, uh, even if we were in my car, it, it's not. Doesn't have that. So the way that no. uh, said, the way you're controlling these is probably through a, an AR interface with your drone. Uh, so only you're seeing it. Um, I'll tell you this, if you want, um, you can easily share that out with the other one, uh, everyone else. So everyone else, if you've got, you know, you can just watch it on your pan or some shit if you don't have the implanted tech. As I have the image linked into my contacts, so I can see AR stuff. Okay. So yeah, okay. you can, I'll say, uh, said you can easily share this out okay. with the crew. <clears throat> oh. Give me a second. Um, let's see. So, did I tell you? Did I have you give me what is that animal handling? Was that an observation or pilot? Uh, that was observation. observation. I've got a success on pilot and a success on observation. So, yeah, you you track down a lot of this. Um, Oh, snap. Dragon's in the dining room. Thanks for coming by. Hey. Um, but you don't find any sign of the office uh, for this mark that Miss Sourpiss has given you. Strange. You can see, you can see city planning areas. You can see R&D areas. Um, if you want to wait for R and D, I'll say you wait like 30 minutes until you can get in, like until someone exits and you can slip the drone in. We can roll over that earlier piloting test. Um, but because you were specifically given the name Graham Day for Miss Sourpiss as the person who's working on it. And mm -hmm. once you get into the R and D area, uh, that observation test, you, you scan looking around for his, his office, his cube, something, and you do not find it. And you're, you're pretty confident that you did a thorough job. I mean, you had a success there, so. Okay. There wouldn't be any value to pushing or anything like that. You could push, but uh, you're not going to get really any extra value okay. out of it. That one success is me telling you the information you need to know. Okay. So either there's some other R&D department that's more secret than the upfront R&D department or... Pardon me? Now, uh, I will Wait say... That... Yeah? Oh. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. So you said there were 16 buttons on the elevator. Yeah. Was Weren't there 17 floors of the building? I have no fucking clue. I'm not keeping track of that. I can't remember. If okay. I said there I were 17, wondering. then there were 17 buttons. If I said there were 16, then there were 16 buttons. Okay. Not, not like there was a secret secret hole or something. Yeah, no, that was just me being not keeping track of what I'm saying. So, sure. I might have just imagined that too. I'm just... Who knows? Well, yeah, no sign of Graham need... Day. No sign of his office. Well, maybe we need to figure out where like, they got like a HR department or something. Sure, yeah, they would have HR. Now, I would also point out that this is the city municipal building that means everyone in that this building public information, right? is a public servant 
as Bugsy chimes in, well, it is public information. Yeah, I mean, we can look up to see that this guy works here or not, probably. But I just want to take a that. Okay. Yeah. I can do some web searching for us. Uh, let me double check the gear bonus I get from my deck. <clears throat> Jacked in. Jacked in. <laughs> you pull a success. You find Graham Day. Parking enforcement, ninth floor. Oh. Yeah, they do more than what they say on the ninth floor. So I guess I'll slowly make my way back to the elevators and we'll wait enough. for the Yeah. <clears throat> wait for the ninth floor. Yeah. I will say the ninth floor is busier. Um so I mean yeah, you do have to wait for that dwarf to come back in, you hop the elevator. It's maybe only like ten minutes until eventually the ninth floor opens up. Once again, you're not doing anything extra crazy, so we're carrying that piloting test over. Uh, and you make it into the ninth floor. Uh, this is set up more like an area that's designed to serve kind of public. So it's got this big front counter on it that's got mostly plexiglassed up with the little sliding slots for people to move documents through. Okay, it's uh, you like can see, a big front area here. Yeah, it's got a like big front seating area. Um, I will say that you do find one of those stations is unoccupied, so you could easily just move your drone through that. Uh, give me nice. another observation test. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, not a problem. Okay. You find the office of Graham Day. Uh, listed as a, you know, a, like a clerk of some kind on the door. Ah, uh, he's in there. Okay. Shoot him. <laughs> with, with, with my drone. Yeah, with your tiny insect-sized <laughs> drone. Yes, but it pulls oh, yeah. out a large gun somehow. It mm -hmm. does, it does. A two millimeter pistol. A howitzer. <laughs> so you have now located <laughs> Graham Day and the office of Graham Day. Let me see if I've got a picture of Graham loaded up. I can slap on there so you all can see. I might go ahead and run the uh, cyberware scanner real quick here too. Okay, what exactly does that tell you? Just if there's people with cyberware, it's more or less the the gimmick. It's like a 15, I'll have to double check, 15 foot radius or 15 yard radius. Sentences. Cyberware implants uh, or other contraband 15 meters is the range. Okay. Give me just a second. Uh, so, yeah, you run that, and I'll tell you right off the bat. Uh, you don't find anyone with anything crazy. Basic cyberware that you would expect from your everyday citizen. I'm trying to okay. what the fuck I'm doing here. That means that we're like less, li less <clears throat> likely to get noticed while we're doing this. <laughs> this. There, so why the fuck didn't I find them? There he is. Uh, I'll put him over here. I'll pick the right. Uh, yeah, you don't find anyone with anything crazy. Basic data jacks, maybe a few augmented senses here and there. Maybe mostly medical use. Uh, yeah, definitely nothing that sets you off. Okay. Well, do we just want to kind of have the drone observe him for now? Okay. Maybe it just hangs out in his office. 
until we're ready to go in. Some passwords and the like. Mm-hmm. Find out, find out what all websites he uses. Password one for. Yes. Now your drone is outside of his office, but it's most ah. public places like that. It's got windows on it, windows on the door. So, I mean, you can get line of sight on him. It's just yeah. not close enough to really dig out any information. Yeah. If an opportunity comes where he opens up to come out or something like that, you know, maybe we swoop it in there and park it up in a corner and uh, stare at him. Wait. So, okay. Okay. So do we just need to get the information off his computer? Is that where we're... Yeah, I mean, the drone won't be enough to do that, but mm -hmm. it might make it easier at least. We now know exactly where to go. So. Yeah. So it's still morning. You... Right around 12 o'clock hits. He gets up leaves his office. What do you want to do? Are you waiting for anything in particular? Uh, just to be able to fly the drone in there sure. for now. You can slip the drone in, not a problem. Because <clears throat> maybe after that we can, uh, you know, lift some passwords or, you know, okay. do some other fun things like that while he, when he comes back and maybe we come back and follow in on the next day to actually do work. If he's gone for like lunch, yeah, maybe we get really ambitious and we just try and uh, sneak into a, do it on a lunch day. Okay. I will say you've got your drone in there. You said you're looking for information right off the bat. When you do your initial scan, uh, you can find on his desk, on his terminal visible. It's all information about like, parking infractions and parking tickets and shit like that. Yeah, fortunately, it does have a camera and a microphone too, so we can we can watch and listen. Okay. Uh, eventually, he shows back up. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's just him doing business, maybe him making a few phone calls, all of them dealing with parking tickets and moving parking tickets on to collections or over to whoever handles the warrants or this or that uh it's all very much infractions of vehicles that draw tickets well and that's you don't notice anything else that he does that might be related to some kind of engineering of a secret communicator for the police department that's not what we we're expecting. Was it, do we think the information's wrong? Oh, Am I uh, back outside at this point? Or I'll say, I... yeah, the court case is okay. wrapped up. Yeah. Miss Sour Piss mentioned that there was a case 154863 and that the data was encrypted. So it's probably appearing on his computer as one of these uh, ticket things. Good point. So if we want in, all we'd have to do is get into his computer figure out how to copy information on a particular case. Uh, Dan, give me a tech case. roll. Should be good to go. Sure. You don't happen to have a USB drive hooked up with that. A dongle? Uh, yeah, a little dongle. You can <laughs> jack in. So I will say this. You know, you maybe you've worked an IT job here or there. Depending on how they have their network set up, it could be where information is stored very locally on a machine and you would have to access that machine or if you just get to any data points on the network, you could possibly access that data from anywhere in the building. Yeah, so our next interest might be just finding a department that's got vacancies, you know, a desk that we can just walk up to and use somewhere. I think. Do they have any job listings? Big enough cube farm and just yeah. Now you would need a person there. I could possibly hack it, right? Or... If you can get someone at a data terminal, even if it's Harlthok. Yeah. Harlthok, you could hook your pan up to it and then that could you get access to it from where he's at. Mm -hmm. I think I might be willing to do that. I'll go in, sign in as my false name and with my disguise then uh, I'll take the elevator 
Oh, jeez. What would I do after that, though? Take a Where would I go? It'd have to be a floor with some sort of a terminal somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I got buddies who work for Lone Star Seattle. If I get arrested doing this, I should be fine. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to, I'm going to play it over. Just walk in like I own the place. And if I find a door that's open, I'll just go in and start using the computer. Sure. Give me a manipulation test. I believe in you. Oh, jeez. My manipulation is such a touch. Do you want to push that? Oh, damn. You ride the elevator for a little while, and eventually you find a door. We're going to call it the 11th floor that just opens up to this huge cube farm. But they do have security kind of at the front gate. You walk in, cocksure, ID badge. Unable yeah, to sure. You produce. What? What are you showing? What are you giving them when they ask for an ID badge? Oh, I'm just reaching around in my pocket and. Um, uh, God damn. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, and I'll yeah. turn around and get back on the elevator. Sure. Nice. Got yeah, to play off like you <laughs> forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You did find a cube farm with plenty of open desks, but. You're either going to need an ID badge or you're going to find have to find some way to, to work past that initial security point there. <laughs> well, I'm how many people attempt- are there at that security point? One. Oh, for fuck's sake. OK, uh, I'll get back on the elevator. Wait a bit. Get back off and walk up to the guy. Got your badge. And then I'll try to. Yeah, right here. And I'll uh, I'll reach out with my hand. I'll reach out with my hand like that. And then as he's reaching for it, I'll come in and try to elbow him in the jaw. Oh my gosh! Make oh, me close oh combat. Oh, what a bad <laughs> idea. Why is it always violence with you people? <laughs> I came up with all these plans to sneak in. Best laid plans. Oh, there we go. You cold cock the dude. He goes down. He wasn't expecting it. Uh, it's not like this is an armored guard. This is just, you know. Yeah, anyway. Cold cock the dude. He goes down. Now you are. It is a cube farm. There's plenty of people around. So it draws a commotion. What do you do next? I'll just uh, walk into the cube farm and... Uh find i'm just gonna walk right up to somebody and be like excuse me i need to use your computer real quick you move <laughs> up to the first one this is terrible it's actually the intern from the tour oh shit. <laughs> you did at least just punch someone out so you he be is a scared today. witless as people are starting to call security you sit down you plug your pan in Instead, you're able to gain connection to the network Put it in the back door as quickly as you can. What are you going to do, Sam? Where's all the... uh, And I'm going to start talking like, all right, what I need is the video footage from that uh, triad assassination. This is where I get it, right? Uh, That would be... That would be probably up on... uh, Probably down on the, like, fourth or fifth floor where the prosecutors are. Mm. What are you kidding me? I, I just knocked out a guard to get rid of some triad gang footage, and now you're telling me I'm on the wrong floor. Is that it? And basically, I'm just drawing all the attention to me and not onto the fact that okay. there is a okay. plugged-in yeah. pan to this terminal. Sad, you got to start yeah. doing some hacking, man. What are you doing? Yep, yep. I think uh, we had a case number, right? So you have we'll a case probably number. be looking for... One I assume like some sort of like a network device or, you know somewhere where they would be storing these. Yeah, just give me a tech roll. You just do it a basic network sweep to see what you can come up with. Oh my gosh, come on now. You find it is a flat network, so you could access any data from here, but seeing as you only pulled one success, that's all I'm giving you. Oh jeez. I'll definitely do uh, my talent here. 
Okay. For a hack on the fly. All right. Go ahead and throw that out there. Go you spin a willpower. Or... Yep. I believe you throw it out there and you have to give me a D6 because I do have a matrix mishaps table. Uh oh. Okay, you roll a six, so you're fine. That actually is going to upgrade it to the next thing. So if you're using your ability to gain access to a system, I'm going to give you two things you can gain access to. Uh, so with that, you easily slip into the... You find the case number. Once again, parking infractions. And you easily find that case number, and you pull down a copy of it. Nice. Uh, what do you want to use your second success for? Um, good grief. We, we got to find some way to maybe get him out of there. So maybe we'll... Uh, can I set off like fire alarms? You 100% can set off the fire alarms yeah. with that second success. Brilliant. All right. All of a we'll sudden, that. sprinklers kick on, fire alarm starts going on. It's just mayhem as people start evacuating. What are you kidding me? I'm on the wrong floor and now I got to evacuate. This is the worst. Jesus. Never do business with the triad. I just said never do business with the triad. <laughs> Anything else you're doing there, Seth? Or are you sure. giving them the all uh, all clear? Uh, I, I think that's my only two successes. But I might do one more push here for uh, another hack just to see if I could find yeah, if, that footage. If you specifically want to look for that footage, give me another one of those tests or spend another willpower for your ability. Uh, let's go ahead and spend another willpower. Sure. And then another D6 for that. And another D6 for that, too. You're fine. You get access to the data store where they have all of the security footage and stuff. Uh, you do a quick search of that, and you do find that footage. It is behind a secured portion of it. So you've located it, but if you want to interact with it, I am going to need another tech roll. All right, let's see what I can do here. Come on, big money. <clears throat> what all do you want to do? You got three successes here, man. Can you corrupt it? Uh, honestly, rather than corrupting it, if I could just modify it so it looks a little different. There you go. What do you want it to the look like? The face. Just not, ears on. <laughs> not, not quite <laughs> grim, you know. Okay. Uh, you change the physical characteristics. The easiest thing for you to do is to kind of have the system edit him in to look... Probably the easiest thing to do would be to make him look kind of elven. He's human, so I mean, just thin him out a little bit, stick some ears on him. Uh, so yeah, there's your, your, I'm gonna call that two successes. You get in there and you edit it. You kind of change around the facial features a little bit, maybe the skin tone a little bit, just enough so that way it doesn't appear to be grim. Perfect. Now, if only I could figure out some way for them to retransmit this information. You got another success. So can I get them to like re-release it somehow? Sure, you use that success um, and you blast it back out. They actually, they have a listserv that they use for distributing footage like this to news agencies. And you're able to find their original email. You reattach it. Maybe you throw in original file was corrupted. Here is the updated file yeah and you kick that back out so now these news agencies as they start running this footage again are going to be running the footage with the altered grim there we go okay it was worth it, it, was okay. worth it. <laughs> very cool so now you've done your your what you're looking to do you've got the case file said all right Harlthok, what are you going to do? I guess I'll pull out my pan and I'll um, I'll call Bugsy. Yeah. And I'll yeah. say, oh, yeah, let me know whenever they're done uh, with all this stuff. It's getting kind of wet in here. Oh, uh, I think you're good to go. Uh, I'll pull the oh, car okay. around front for you. Oh, snap, right, Debbie thanks. Snacks. Thanks for that, hey. son. That's fantastic. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. But Harlthok, I did doing Debbie snacks. You um, 
You need to get out. People are evacuating, but you also know that security is on their way and they probably won't be dissuaded by the alarms. That's fine. Um, do they have, um, I take it some sort of a stairwell? Oh yeah, there's that fire alarm or fire exit I was telling you about earlier. Okay, People are already flooding out of those. Be yeah, I'll um, blend in with the crowd. Yeah, is the security guard I KO'd still on the ground? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab his shirt and pull it off. Okay. And then head for the stairwell. And as I'm going down the stairs, I'm taking my shirt off, putting his shirt on and taking Move my cast. disguise off. All right. Let's roll. Hey, there's Two successes, nice. yeah. You get your clothes swapped. You're now looking like Harl Thok and not the person you were uh, hidden as. And you filter out with the crowd. Uh, it's a long ways down. 11 flights of stairs. But I'll, I'll hoof it. <laughs> I can confirm that takes a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, eventually, you, um, you filter out side with the the crowd uh, and you're able to break off and join back up with the rest of the crew and then get the hell out of there in bugsy's car <laughs> yeah oh yeah i'm waiting for him at the door okay so as the rest of you and i'll probably say this might have happened because bugsy already said you were going for the car grim you were with bugsy and said during this do you head back to get your vehicle at the same time yeah as you head back, you see a man leaning against your vehicle. Ah, oh, shit. Wearing a very nice tailored purple suit. Oh, shit. I tap into the comp link. You're like, I think I'm going to have a conversation with the triad. Wait, is it his car or my car? No, uh, Grim's car. Okay. Your car is in the good. You're already moving around. I oh, gotcha. Harl you, you us, leap into the car. What do you want us to do? Uh, I'm, drop me off at the parking place with him. I'll I'll back him up. I'm gonna approach this gentleman. Hey, I recognize you. Yeah. Saw you on the TV. I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. Got some balls. Yeah, from time to time. Taken out a fucking member of the crew in a crowded intersection with cameras on you. And then for some reason, I don't know why the hell you put one of our tags on your car. It just made it that much easier to track you down. Maybe we needed a dog. Oh, oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna level this with you nice and easy. You've got a meeting that you need to attend. Mm -hmm. It's not optional. Mm. Head over to the Purple Haze. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. Talk with Mr. Scrip. He'll be expecting you. Don't pull any funny shit, or, uh, you know, we'll just shoot you in the fucking face like you did with our friend. I think I can make this appointment. Good. Glad we came to such a peaceful agreement. And he gets off your car and he wanders, you know, strolls over to a black sedan that's parked, hops in the passenger seat and pulls out. And four other black SUVs all pull out at the same time and follow him. <laughs> That was definitely a bit of a show of power there. All right, well, I go ahead and get in my car and I, I get back on the comm link. <clears throat> like, all right, well, apparently, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, I, I need to have a meeting with uh, the triad tomorrow. So. Great. Yeah, nice. my, I, and yeah, I need to keep my schedule clear tomorrow. Take yeah. that edge of sketch and throw it right on out. Mostly to <laughs> clean the car, but to also go to this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> all right you all head back to the apartment or the office building you reconvene you've got the data that miss sour piss wanted 
uh, Grim at this point, you're free to send it on over to her whenever you want. Oh yeah, I'd do that immediately. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do with the data or just send it over as is? I mean, do we want to keep a copy of it? <laughs> I was like, hey, I'll do that up to you guys. Yeah, we should I mean, maybe, we can, just... maybe we can figure out something about it too. Having a back door to municipal law enforcement communications would definitely be helpful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you dupe a copy of it said, you give uh, Grim a copy. Grim, you send it over. Thanks. Uh, go ahead and move your alignment, your loyalty for Miss Sourpiss up one step. Uh, I don't remember what you had her set as. I think I just put numbers. I don't even remember how I got them. I had to add up to seven, I think. Party contacts, Alex. And that was kind of arbitrary. Like seven would be they kill themselves for you or think. Yeah, I, I, I want to see the numbers low. Were wrong. Yeah, like. So yeah, loyalty. One's the lowest, six is, and I want to say that you were at a one or a two. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and say, move it up to a three. So calling him a friend would be a stretch, but they're willing to be inconvenienced in small ways for the character, but they won't take a fall for you. Mm -hmm. All right. You now no longer owe Miss Sourpiss money, and she's more willing to help you in the future. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So, you're all back. Tower piss job has been resolved. Uh, you're sitting there. 2 p.m. is a long ways off. You now have this packet of data that Miss Sour Piss wanted you to pick up. What do you all want to do? Well, we were warned not to open it, so that's something I do not want to do. Yeah, she was very right like, now. it could have like data bombs or some shit like that attached to it. Yeah. Well, that a crunch. Now, said, you could, if you give me a good enough tech roll, investigate this and find out if it's true or not. Probably not until I had a chance to rest. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, anything else anyone wants to do tonight? like to contact the purple haze to verify that there is a, a 2 p.m. reservation oh uh yeah yeah we got a reservation uh what was the name again uh script oh oh you're the one that mr script yeah you're in the private room in the back 2 p.m. tomorrow that's right. We try and get some data or do some research about this place before we go in there tomorrow. It might be worth it. Uh, what time is it at this point in time? Early evening, so six o'clock maybe. All right. Um, do you know if uh, the purple haze, while well, I got you on the line, does the purple haze allow for uh, non-human metas to attend? Of course, we're open to everyone. Thanks. No, hang up. Mm -hmm. And then I'll contact one of my contacts. Um, God, what's her name again? Uh, Jarnus Heavybody. Okay. What does she do? What do you? What does she do? Where are you contact her? Uh, she is a Bostonian gnome debutante, the daughter of a former JIJ International stockholder. Oh. Damn. Um. She has a usefulness of two, but a loyalty of four because I helped her acquire her late husband's wealth. Oh, when I was okay. First getting started as a PI. Okay, cool. I would I would like to contact her and see if uh, she would be able to buy out somebody's uh, reservation for three tonight at the Purple Haze. So you're wanting a 3 a.m. Oh, you want a reservation for three people yeah. tonight. Yes. So who's not going to the, the to dinner? Um, Probably me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to do... She's a debutante. I'm going to count this as socialite. So I'm going to give her a six die pool. 
Uh, she... She can pull the reservation, uh, but um, it, it's going to be pricey. It's going to be probably like 900 new yen. Uh, she likes you. She likes you a lot, but she's got a bit of a tab there at the Purple Haze. Uh, so it just things are a little sticky there. She, she, owes, she owes some money the purple haze because you know she likes she's she likes to party there uh so she's gonna need you to to, to front her the the new yen um to get the reservation and the new yen yeah all right so it costs 900 but you do get a reservation for nine tonight excellent that'll give me a chance to scope out the place cool uh we are at time I'm good to keep going. I know Tyler got on late. Is anyone not able to keep going? Go for another hour, probably. I, I could go a little bit longer, but I'm kind of okay. running out of steam a little we'll, bit. We'll throw it out maybe another half hour. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got a reservation. You can all, well, those of you who are going load up in Bugsy's car. Yeah. Uh, so Grim, what are you going to do for this? Are you going to go and just kind of stake out and kind of check out the area outside? Or are you just going to hang back in the office? Or is there something else you want to do during this time? I'm going to hang back in the office and work on my magic. Okay. What does it cost for me to go to... Can I go to the Path of Detection rank 2? It'll cost... Uh, it's 5 XP for talents. Per talent, so I'm not charging the. So yeah, if you already have path or rank one, buying into rank two would be another five XP. Oh hell yeah! Or I'm five karma. It. Yeah. <sighs> Meditating tonight. Yeah. I you might regret spells. making it that cheap later on, but you know, you guys being able to do cool shit spot, so I don't really mm -hmm. mind. Uh, so that'll give you analyze truth, clairvoyance. Detect enemies, detect life, and detect life form extended. So, very cool. Uh, okay, so Harl Thok said, Bugsy, you show up. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice joint. Um, not nice enough to do um, valet parking. Set up kind of more like a nightclub. Uh, but yeah, you show up. You do have a reservation under your name. A Parkman car. We're gonna shoot his ass. Oh, what? wow. It was just putting that right into the stupid. Sorry. Oh, Go ahead. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's how I was able to read those off. I don't have a memory that good. Yeah. <laughs> I hit it multiple times, though. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, you did. So I was didn't like, why, isn't it, why isn't it popping up? And, and it's doing that. Yeah. Yeah, you go, you gotta, it's actually, it's a table for four, but there's just three of you, you go up, waiter comes up, uh, they kinda, they deal with a kinda almost pretentious line of fusion food, kinda mixing different uh, regional varieties, uh, lots of, uh, you know, Asian, inspired dishes with very like western american uh not western as in like cowboys and shit but western is like west coast inspired uh kind of dishes um very pricey you're looking at probably like 500 a plate Oof. it is not a cheap place I will have a water. <laughs> okay, you order a water. And the waiter's just like, oh, okay. And I'm and I'm still looking at the menu, and I'll just say I just need some water, water. And of course, I'm not actually like reading the menu. I'm more looking over it at all at the sure, sure. general layout of the place, trying to memorize it. Uh, everyone who wants to do follow suit, just give me observation tests. 
We haven't rested yet, right, either? Uh, not oh, since you yeah. started out this morning, no. Okay. Nice. Harlthock got a three. Kane, you got a zero. Bugsy, are you giving it a go? Oh, sure. Yep. I, I'll that? probably actually order some sort of drink or something, though, at least, you know, okay. keep the wait staff from being too irritable with sure. this. Sure, yeah, you order, you know, cocktail, something. <clears throat> oh, Okay. fancier than it needs to be now harlthok you kind of get a lay of the land um this place looks far larger on the outside than it does on the inside um a yeah. hey. uh <laughs> so you're guessing they've got lots of space in the back more than what you would expect for a normal kitchen they do have like a small dance floor out there they got you know it's a decent enough place right and actually let me adjust the stream view because we don't care about Graham anymore. Yeah, good enough. And right there. Oh, and then right here. Uh, but yeah, you can get a decent layout. You 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 have a very decent understanding of if shit were to go down what you would need to do so just we're going to make a mental note of that and if shit does go down i'll give you a bonuses where appropriate based off of your observation role here now the thing that catches you is after the waiter takes said drink order uh the waiter is not who delivers it mm. instead it's this fairly tall orc very nice very well tailored purple suit uh huh. he brings your drinks over to the table I don't like that well uh welcome uh welcome to my restaurant boys honestly i uh i gotta say i'm kind of impressed you all showed oh, so? up Mm. I'm, no, uh, I figured uh, same you're used to seeing script. my face, so I might as well. Yeah, yeah, I was cute with hi. your little wave. Yeah, I saw that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a seat here with you guys. Uh, go ahead and order what you want. It's on me tonight. I'll have a sushi burger then. Sure. Yeah. He waiter comes over. They take your orders. You guys can load up on some fancy Bottle food and drinks. Champagne. Yeah, like he doesn't <laughs> blink an eye at it. You didn't bring uh you didn't bring your other friend with you. I'm a little disappointed that he's the one. Of course we got our meeting tomorrow. He's showing up for that, right? Yes, yes he is. We were just making sure that uh, everything was all safe and sound here, nice and snugly and cozy for him when That's he shows good. up. That's His good. Bible study he had to attend, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, that's good. You know, I'd hate to have Loves to. Jesus so much, he introduces him to new friends every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd really hate to have my boys get their, their shoes all dirty by having to go and gun down a motherfucker in an abandoned old office building, but, you know, it is what it Hello. is. So... Let Might me be guess. An there's no indoor plumbing there anyway. Yeah, well. When you gotta lay low, sometimes you gotta go without the amenities. Now, let me guess here. Your friend. Now, you gotta excuse me. I don't. You all probably know who I am. I don't actually have your names. Uh, well, Harlthok, I got yours. Yours wasn't too hard to find. Ex cop and all. But, yeah, Lone uh, Star keeps good records. You two, what do you, what should I call you? I'll give him my my fake sin. <laughs> my, the I'll Kane. Him, I'll Kane? tell him my name is Bugsy. He can know that. Kane Bugsy. Good to meet you. Oh. Now uh, I've got I've got an ID that even goes with this fake. There sin. you go. <laughs> now uh, your friend who's not here, I can't find him either. He's, he's hasn't stuck out anywhere yet. What what does he go by? Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to find out tomorrow. That's fair. I wanna, yeah, I Let him have the surprise. enjoyment of a proper introduction. I'm cool with that. That's not a problem. Uh, well, let me guess. 
Y'all are shaking in your boots, so before your friend's meeting tomorrow, you all decided to scout out the joint tonight. That way, in case shit goes south tomorrow, you all might have a, you know, chance to escape. A running chance, if not a fighting one. Ah, I'll take that humble. You know, most, uh, most people that come in in this situation try to act real cocky and brave. The magic does funny things to a mind. Yeah. So... I mean, I want to have this conversation with your friend tomorrow. But seeing as you're all here, you're all a crew. I mean, if you want to call him up, we can do this tonight. Or if you want, I can just talk to the three of you about what we got going. Make much difference to me. Nah. Call him. Right. I'm sure we can wait till tomorrow. There's no need to rush things. All right. Well, why don't you three of you come with them tomorrow and we can go over all the details together. I mean, you're all a crew. You might as well learn everything that's going to happen to you as a crew. Dealing with all of our business. One at a dead uh, in, uh, in one go. Don't oh, need to stretch yeah. things out of that. Now, I will tell you, y'all keep your heads level tomorrow during our meeting. Don't do anything rash. Y'all can look forward to a... Well, if your life is long and happy, that's on you. But at least if you play your cards right tomorrow, you don't have to worry about me having my boys hunt you down and strip your skin off or salt in the wounds and then mail your most delicate bits to your closest family. I don't think they'd enjoy that. I bet they wouldn't. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow when you and your friend come back, just make sure. Best behavior. You got it, boys? Absolutely. Yeah. And you're welcome, by the way. For what? For keeping the Halloweeners off of that data trade deal that you had with Boris. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Deal went off without a hitch. So, if you're the ones who got them fuckers off Boris's back so we could get our data, well, maybe, you know, makes me think I made the right decision by not blowing that fucking building you're squatting in up as soon as my crew found out where you were crashing at. Got about well, I'll just consider this fine meal uh, payback for that, at least. But Sounds that good. still means uh, you're down a man that we, we owe you. Yeah, you do. Anyway, y'all enjoy the food. Try not to shoot anyone while you're here. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. And he heads off to keep doing what he's doing. You see him drip through the bar every or through the restaurant every now and then, doing what looks like manager, owner type duties, but he makes sure to send you a little wink and a round of drinks whenever he sees you. Terrifying. Well, at least we know what a bitch looks like now. Okay. Uh, anything else you all want to do here or finish up your fancy meals and drinks and hop a ride back or drive back? I mean, you probably got, uh, you know, everyone's got some form of self-driving cars at this point, right? Yeah. I need to go clean my pants out, so... <laughs> yeah, you all meet back up with Grim in the uh, office building. You want to give Grim a rundown of what just happened? Yeah, so uh, we met up with Mr. Scrib uh, himself. He decided to come by and comp us for our meal and nice. said he's really dying to talk to you. He's also... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's also willing to kill to talk to you. Uh, in particular, everybody in this building right now, so... I think at the very least, we can uh, hang out in my apartment that has working plumbing. Are you sure it's working? Yeah, they, they, uh, they well, absolutely know the, where we're at already, so. The little stopper inside the toilet, uh, it doesn't quite seal all the way, so you'll have to push it down whenever you use it, otherwise it'll flood the place again. 
Uh, aside from that, yeah, it works fine. I don't kind of want to stay here. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess we can get back to your apartment. Okay, yeah. Harothok, everyone heads over to your space. You got, uh, probably, I'm imagining as a, uh, not overly well-funded PI, probably just a single bed in the back. Uh, everyone else, good luck crashing on furniture. But... Well, that's the, that's the fun part. The couch is the bed. <laughs> oh, You're no. all doing it like always sunny <laughs> with just all these people on one pull-out sofa. But <laughs> Charlie and Frank's place. Yeah, the place is heated at least, and it does have working plumbing. You're all able to, you know, you probably stink to high heavens by this point. So you're all able to get cleaned up and, uh, you know, you know, take a shit not in a bucket, which is probably nice. Uh, you will notice that when you pull up, there is a black SUV parked down the street. I'll wave to it. Yeah, and it's in the morning when you're done, you know, when you're ready to head back out, it's it's still parked there. Is it the same one? Is it a different one? You don't know if it's not the same one. They look identical. Uh, is there anything you all want to do today before your meeting? Uh, just rest oh, um, and recover, I think. Yeah, basically, I would like to draw out a map of the inside of the place, like a rough map sure. of the inside of the place, and then sort of come up with like a, an escape plan. Sure. The very moment bullets start flying. <laughs> sure. I'll tell you what, because you did good on that roll, because you're taking this precaution beforehand, if something were to come up that requires that escape plan, Harlthok, you'll get a plus two to whatever actions you do. Utilizing that information, everyone else will get a plus one. Nice. Um, all right, you share this information. You all head to your meet at three, or is there anything else you want to do? I might uh, just set up a drone to look at the outside, maybe. Okay, yeah, you can get some perimeter stuff going on with your drone. That's not a problem. Uh, I'm you... probably going to yeah. tuck my guns into my trunk of my car. Okay, so you're going in unarmed, or...? I'd uh, probably be wise for all of us. Yeah. Okay. At least me. I'm pretty sure I'm not. I don't think we're gonna, shooting our way out of this under yeah. any circumstances. So I'm not okay. bringing the gun that killed one of his guys into the place. Yeah. All right. Also that. You know what I will do, though? I will. Um, I'll take the plunger from my toilet. Mm -hmm. and I'll carve it into a shiv. Okay. Then I'll sneak. Then I'll sneak the shiv in with my in my sock. Okay. Boy, right now I wish I had one of the uh, the embedded decks instead. Well, that might be something you need to save your money up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm certainly wishing I had those uh, extendo claws. <laughs> Once again, you're all figuring out shit you need to save up for. Yeah, okay. unfortunately, I think the embedded deck is uh, really expensive. Yeah. yeah Take I more jobs. Stop doing done. all these free jobs. You know, it is session four, so I mean, there's plenty of time to work yeah, towards yeah. that. You all show up for your meeting. Park your cars. You go in unarmed. You know, the the hostess at the front. Oh, oh, uh, Mr. Scrip is expecting all of you. Uh, if you would please follow me. Uh, and he takes you back to this... Um, she takes you back to this like private room in the back. It's very nice, very kind of, you know, posh, very uh, Asian inspired, big kind of circular table with this fancy looking like a fancier than like a lazy Susan in the center. And then it comes out quite a way for those like communal dishes where all the dishes and as you can rotate it and pull things to your plate as you want to eat it. So it's kind of like that kind of thing, kind of cool, kind of like vaporwave music's going on. You get settled in. They bring you some uh, some drinks. Uh, you all get a nice cool glass uh, glass of water and then also some, you know, nice chilled wine or something like that. Uh, afternoon business drinks. Uh, and soon after, 
Sammy Scrimp, the guy you all, most of you met last night, comes in. Um, another, it's very distinct. It's not the same purple suit as last night, but it is another purple suit. Uh, very stylish. I'm glad to see you all decided to make it today. That's a uh, good decision on your part. Uh, some of us had some rather informal introductions last night. Uh, I am Sammy Scrip. You all can refer to me as Mr. Scrip. Or as today's business goes, you might be calling me Mr. Johnson. Fair enough. Yeah. So, I know most of you. We got uh, Bugsy, Kane, Arlthok. Now, you, who caused all this mess, I don't have your name. I'm Grim. Grim? Mm. Well, Grim, it's not on good conditions that we're talking today. Yeah. So, and he pulls up a seat, gives a little snap, and uh, different food dishes start getting brought in, plates get brought in. You know, he starts serving himself up and kind of eating here and there. So tell me. Yeah, I mean, feel free to, you know, take the food. You know, eat, eat up. You know, if this goes south, I don't want you to die on an empty stomach. Good point. How you yeah, think at least your last meal will be a good one. So uh, it's better than what we've been eating. Yeah, mm -hmm. I imagine. So we do. Uh, we got some good chefs back there. So tell me, Mr. Grimm, why did you feel so compelled to shoot one of my guys? in the goddamn face, in the middle of a goddamn intersection. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth, some spells went back, backfired mm. on me, this wasn't in the right mind. Mm. That cast and stuff, you know, I've, I've got no knack for it. I've known some, uh, uh, some wielders of the arcane arts who are, you know, weird. Fucking artist with that shit, Picasso and shit. And I've known others who are you know no more than burnt out fucking you know dope fiends riding off of whatever weird ass energies they're feeding off of. You know I've seen plenty of users in my time, and you ain't quite scratching enough. So okay. you all owe me. You owe me a lot. You killed a good guy good friend but I'd be willing to let that slide if maybe I lost one good friend made four more in his place <laughs> something amuse you uh, nothing uh just a long night spiraled pretty far. Okay. To right I would now. imagine you're probably sleeping rough knowing that, you know, you got people out there actively trying to shoot you in the goddamn head. So I, you know, I'd restful sleep. I can see that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So I'll tell you what, I'll level with you. I got a job that I need done, that I need done by someone not only not associated with us, but through public appearance, uh, would it look like our enemies? And you know what? That's you. <clears throat> oh, we've unintentionally set ourselves up well for this. Yeah. So, I got a job, and you're all gonna take it. If you don't take it, my boys with heavy, you know, some heavy uh, hardware on them. And they're going to come in and they're going to murder the lot of you. If you do take it, I'll consider our debts paid. And if you do good, in the future, I might have more work for you that will actually be paying gigs. All right, listen, I, I seen that apartment you're staying in there, Harlthok. You ain't making a lot of money. You want to make some money, do good on this. In the future, when I have needs, I'll make sure you're very well compensated. 
Yeah, we haven't done a good job of making any money yet. Yeah. Well, you're working for the wrong people. Some, you know, slob in the back of a fucking dive bar. What do you expect? Good point. I mean, when you put it that Honestly, way... Honestly, like, yeah, when you put it that way, this exact situation is very much what I would expect, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's what I got. I need you all to go get me an i fiver. Y'all know what, who the i fivers are, yeah? Uh, fucking go bike I gang. Know what an I yeah, it, oh. it's a fucking street gang. Uh, go bike yeah. gang, as they're called. Basically, the shadow run version of a fucking motorcycle gang. I don't so give a shit funny. who. He's just got to be wearing the colors. Oh, well, okay. Go find him. And uh, they, uh, you know, they're pretty thick over in, uh, you know, the Tacoma district. So, go get me an i fiver. I want them alive and not too banged up. Okay, so don't run into him with any cars. Yeah, don't do that. He needs to, you know not be dead beforehand then i need you to go to this address and he slides you a business card with an address on the back of it and then it gives a little snap and this burly looking you know uh obviously hired muscle kind of dude comes out with a duffel bag and he sets it on the table i need you to take this i fiver go to this address Break the place up a little bit. And then, uh, you know, leave the i 5 there while you set off this bomb. Uh, do you want him blown up with the bomb or yeah. not with the bomb? With the bomb. Okay. I need this place to be fucking wrecked, and I need there to be a dead i 5 there when it happens, or when they, you know, look through the rubble. And I need it to, you know, be obvious that the, uh, the little shit you're going to be kidnapping died. Oops, bomb went off too early. Yeah, 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 you got it. So, we got a deal or am I about to murder the four of you? I don't even word it that way. I mean, it sounds deal. like we got a deal. Good. <laughs> Good, and he uh, he puts the uh, the duffel bag with the bomb in it on the little kind of like carousel on the table and spins Ooh. it around and stops it right in front of you, Grim. Ooh. I carefully pick it up. Yeah. And then give it to Kane. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you got your job. The sooner you get this done, the better. But, I mean, sometime in the next week would be awfully nice. Well, unfortunately, our uh, schedule, I think, just cleared up. So. I like that. I like that a lot. It, it's good to know that when you hire a team of runners that, you know, you're the number one priority at that moment. So. Uh, any questions? Oh, and just so we know, you guys are clear. Don't fucking show up after this is done asking for money. Because your payment is not getting murdered. I do have one question. What do you got, buddy? Have you got any Cabernet? Because I like to drink Cabernet oh. after I got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're funny, buddy. And he, he gives a little whistle. Uh, wait staff comes in. Hey, you got a friend here some Cabernet. And uh, yeah, they bring the drinks back here shortly. Uh, so uh, I'm going to take my leave. Enjoy the room. Enjoy the meal. Don't make a fucking mess. And uh, yeah, you do good on this. And uh, you know, you're off the hook. And I'll have more work for you in the future. Work that will pay very well. 
you know, if you're gonna, you know, try and fuck me over, you're gonna do anything stupid during this, go ahead and blow yourself up at the same time, and it'll save me some hassle, all right? I can't say that's not off the table. Again, all right. Do. Well, it was a pleasure to meet all of you. And, uh, you know, you fuck with me again, and I will kill all of you on the spot. Okay. All right. Cheers. Unfair. Cheers, friend. And he walks out, leaving you all in the room on your own. Oh, snap. Sort of, Assassin. Uh, it's yeah. been a while. Thanks for that hey. sub. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sort of trace my finger around in a circle and then point to my ear. Does anyone else catch on that? Sorry, I was typing. What's up? He's I'm just kind of gesturing that this place is most likely bugged. So. Oh yeah. I'm oh, I'm sure. Hundred percent. I'm just gonna enjoy my food while it's here. Well. Yeah. No, yeah. no need to talk business in here. Grim's eating fast because he wants to get this bomb out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eating lunch is a little. Um, Maybe a little less appetizing than it should be, uh, seeing as you have a fucking bomb and a duffel bag on the table. No, I gave it a cane. I purposely gave it the okay. cane. Okay. <laughs> no, the cane has a bomb and a duffel bag sitting on the ground next to him. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't, can't deny it. There is that part of me that's like, let's just set the bomb off right now. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 was my, that, that was my thinking. So, yeah. We'd all die, for mm -hmm. sure. Y'all finish up? As painlessly as possible. <laughs> uh, you take your leave. You know, the the bill was on the house, so, you know. Good meal wasn't your last meal, which is nice. Not yet. <laughs> uh, and then next session, we can pick up with you all figuring out what the fuck to do next when it comes to kidnapping a member of the I-5 or Go Bike gang, taking them to this address, and then wrecking the place and blowing it the fuck up with the I-5 or there. Hey, we're not dead yet, so everything's yeah. everything's an improvement from there. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, let's do some end of session questions to see what we get for experience points and reputation. One, did you participate in the session? If you do, you get an XP or a point of karma. Uh, two, did y'all learn anything? Yeah. What'd you um, learn? Uh, apparently triads and I-5ers aren't friends with each other. Yeah, we <laughs> do know that they do not like each other. I, I learned about the history of Seattle. <laughs> there you go. All right, everyone take a point for that. Uh, and did you make a new contact? They'd be willing to help you in the future. Eh, Maybe not, not yet. yet. You made a new contact. <laughs> help is not the term I would use. Mm. No. Uh, did you get into something slash somewhere without permission? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I have those, I think. What's that? It's like we did five of those, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you make some money? No. 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 Did you make a new enemy? No. Not, not really. really. No. Okay. We managed to not do that today. Good yeah. job, us. Yeah. Did you activate your pride? Oh, I need to decide on the pride. You should come up with that. I lost it a couple sessions ago. Yeah. Yeah. Did you risk yourself or sacrifice something to get the job done? Harl Thok, yeah, you get this. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't uh, contribute too much. You were willing to risk getting arrested to get the, the job done. Uh, did you perform an extraordinary act of some kind? And I'll allow arguments here. I don't know. I, I'd almost give that one to Harl Thok again. Mm hmm. Okay. Punching, punching the guy out to, yeah. to load the, uh, you know, and actively the... causing a ruckus directly afterwards. Yeah. I don't know. We got um, 
we got an organized gangster to pay for our meals twice. <laughs> I'll allow Even it. Even though he That's wants true. to kill us. <laughs> I'll allow <laughs> it. Yeah. All right. There's our experience questions. Uh, let's kick down to reputation. Was a prominent NPC killed or saved from certain death? No. Pretty low stakes for the most part. Yeah. Did you complete a job? Yes, you did. Yeah. Mm. Uh, did you survive an encounter with a powerful organization? Absolutely. Technically, yes. So. Yeah. Uh, did you get an organization or individual to owe you a favor? Uh, no. Not yet. You are the ones that owe the favor. Yeah. <laughs> All the right. way around. Yeah. So two reputation points, some experience points. Uh, and yeah, that's where we'll wrap it up for tonight. Um, shit. Uh, let's go over what we got for the week on the schedule. And then if anyone else has anything they want to add before we sign off, we can do that. Uh, tomorrow being Saturday, well, it's today's technically Saturday, but Saturday we got a double header for you. At 1 p.m. Central, we're doing Shadow War, a fifth ed adventure. Uh, it's probably going to be like a three session thing. It's in our Forbidden, uh, Forbidden Land slot, seeing as the party unexpectedly in the campaign very early last session, uh, and not in a terrible way. Uh, so we'll be doing that tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central. That's Saturday, 1 p.m. Central. Uh, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Central, we're going to be doing The Darkest House. Uh, we'll have our buddies Jeff and Ashley from the Lollygaggers. Jake and I are in that, uh, and it's being ran by Steven the DM. So that's 9 p.m. Saturday night. Uh, Sunday, Jake and I will be over on Steam, Steel, and Murder, twitch.tv slash Steam, Steel, Murder. Let me throw the link out there. Birch channel for some shadow run uh, Monday is a UVG night so Dan and I will be hanging out on the lollygaggers uh, 9 p.m. Central for some UVG Wednesday we're gonna be doing some Pathfinder second edition here on defenders that's 9 p.m. Thursday we're scheduled for some watercolors and warriors that's our fifth ed Ghibli campaign Artie's currently out adventuring to gather res uh, ingredients for recipes uh, for their tavern. Uh, oh, jalapeno poppers are on the list. They're on it's the list. Uh, Friday night's Christmas Eve. I'm totally cool to play, but uh, we'll just kind of look and I see. I am not going to be available. Okay, and then Joe's not out. So we probably won't be back for Shadowrun this coming Friday. Who knows? Maybe we'll run a one shot. Maybe we'll all just take Christmas Eve off. Um, either one of those sounds fine to me. And then next Saturday is Christmas Day, so we're going to be missing our Goodman Game stream. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's uh, you know, a week ahead. Uh, anyone got anything else they want to throw out there before we sign off? I'm all good. I was in, you know, hop in our Discord. Yeah, that's fair. Join the Discord. Give us your dankest frog memes. Dankest frog memes. And not deer. Mm, not deer. Sexy not deer. Sexy not deer. Mm -hmm. uh, You've already had the terrifying not deer. Yeah, yeah, we have. I'm just loading up the end screen. So, okay. That's all I fucking got. So, good game, everyone. Everyone who watched, subbed. Thanks for that. And uh, until we see you next time, start fires, do drugs, and, you know, go get your booster shot. Uh, so you don't, I don't know, just go fucking do it. Fuck you, do it. Uh, anyway, deuces. Yeah.